Welcome back friends, welcome to getting started with Python. In this video, I will be showing you what the operators are supported by Python. So what is operators? Operators are the symbols that performs mathematical operations. So the mathematical basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So these are the operators what you see at the left hand side. These are the symbols that Python uses to, manu uh, to perform the op mathematical operation of the operation showed in the right uh, column. So la la uh, let's jump into the IDE and see how they really work in action. Okay, so we are in the IDE. So let's create a, another file of say operators just to keep the work separate and say operators.py and now here so we saw there are three operators we start with our command and we say we put it operators addition subtraction multiplication is a star and division is a forward slash as you see so let's see how to do the addition so we saw in the last video the variables so we'll create here two numbers and we will perform all these three operations uh, all these four operations uh, in with these two numbers so we call number one say number one and say we put number 10 for this and another number or uh, we have two and say five so let's print number one is num1 and two all right so let's try if everything is working good so how to run it we have to say python and we are running the operator so it seems like it's not in the directory so we do pwd so sometimes reloading your ide might uh, back you take you back in the home directory so you may want to make uh, uh, make sure you are in the right directory so in python and basics okay there you go so now i say python and i say operator okay so things doesn't look happy here Okay, great. So as we saw in the last video, the string, the numbers have to be converted as a string. Otherwise, Python doesn't, a compiler doesn't uh, feel happy. So, uh, and what we saw in here, the how to read the errors. So how did I figure out this? I saw these, what this is trying to say right here. So this is called a trace uh, back. Uh, right here so like where the error was thrown so it, sh it shows me this is thrown at line number six so as you see line number six and so there's something is wrong now it says what actually is wrong it says can only concatenate string not the integer so now we have to convert into string using a built-in method str right here str right here okay so now let's run and see. Okay, so something at line seven is, look, we did not close the bracket. So what happened here? I did not close the bracket here because it's, I didn't see it. Uh, all right, so now it's number one is 10 and number two is five. Let's put number one closer to it. Okay, number one is two, 10 and number two is five. All right, so let's see how to do the addition. So it's a good practice to always keep commenting your code, like what your code is doing. So now we are actually doing addition and we are calculating sum. So you can have the variable as my sum. And you have num1 plus num2. This is my operator. And I say my add sum. And then you print my sum. Let's see what happens now. 
Okay, okay, the same thing. <laughs> Again, you have to convert into your string when you're printing. And you close your bracket, and there you go. So my sum is 15. However, you will see one interesting thing. So when I say my sum as just print the number, it would not complain. Why? Because I'm not really concating as a, it as a part of a string. But here, I'm con uh, I'm concating it uh, as a part of the string. So Python ex compile, uh, uh, so Python expect it to be a string. All right. Now let's see the uh, subtraction operator and say my sub. So num1 minus num2 and let's copy this thing over here and say my sub my sub you can just say my sub you can just print the variable name here my sum okay and make sure you modified it's my sub here okay now let's see what happens so my sum is 15 and my sub is 10 great so now let's ha see what happens if we do reverse for example like negative so you see the negative so it actually does take care of the negative okay so let's go back what was and now let's see the uh, multiplication and this is my multi and as you so this is a star num2 and I'll copy it over and this is my multi is my variable that I'm printing right here and my multi okay so as you might have guessed let's see 50 great now the last one is the division and my div is num1 this is and division sign is a forward slash and is num2 and let's copy it over and this is my div and this is my div so guess what what it could be 2 2 dot 0 so let's say float in this okay so this is the four most important operators in python to uh, help us with the mathematical operations and in the next video we will be seeing what the data types are so so far you have seen uh, these are the type of data we have we have integer you uh, informally got introduced with the numbers in the variables file specifically you saw the string here the string of text and you saw the here list of strings and you saw the number so these are actually called the data types so we will dive into more details about and we'll know more uh, data types in the next video so tune in and i will see you in the next video thank you